Hey guys, this is Mike from B Tech Reviews here, and today we compare and look at the Samsung Galaxy A23 5G versus the Moto G Stylus 5G. All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. Mike from Budget Tech Reviews here, and I wanted to have a little battle versus two decent mid-range devices that you see here. Uh, to my left is the Samsung Galaxy A23 5G. Uh, as of the making of this video, I paid $10 for this on Boost Mobile. Uh, this did come out to about $50 with tax uh, because you do have to purchase a uh, plan and they only give you a few options as far as the plan goes. But I got these phones around the same time. And right now we'll go over the, the specs uh, of both phones, very similar specs on both devices. So the Samsung A23 5G from Boost Mobile, and then we have the Motorola G Stylus 5G. Now, I haven't really used the stylus much. You know, that's one thing that I definitely need to look more into if I can be 100% honest. Uh, I've had both of these phones for about a week now. I still haven't really had any necessary use for the stylus, right? But uh, still cool feature, you know, I've had other YouTubers say that they use it to play games or etc like that, but you know, definitely a nice device. Both of them are very, very nice devices for the price, same price on boostmobile.com right now. Actually, you can get this device for $10, uh, with the activation of a new line, of course. So I went ahead and decided to get both of these devices because I am, uh, kind of trying to get back into the smartphone game. You know, of course I'm, I'm, I'm a part of Team Pixel, you guys already know that, and I'm actually filming with the Pixel 7 Pro, right? So shout out to all the, t uh, the Team Pixel members out there. So let's get into it, right? So let's go over the devices and, you know, the similarities, the differences, right? Obviously, if you can see right out the gate, right, the big difference that you can see here from between the Moto Stylus 5G and the Samsung A23 is the screen size, right? The screen size on the Samsung A23 is definitely a lot smaller, um, way smaller actually, I mean, definitely not. This uh, I wouldn't say too, too much smaller, but I believe this is a 6.8 inch screen over here while well, we have a 6.6 .6 inch screen uh, on the Samsung Galaxy A23. Now, both of them are basically LCD screens, right? They're not, they're not OLED panels. They're both very sharp considering. Uh, again, the A23 has a pixel per inch or a PPI of 399, right? Which is a little bit low in my opinion. And then again, the, the Motorola uh, Stylus 5G, on the other hand, has a, again, a much bigger screen, which it's a 6.8 screen, a uh, 6.8 inch screen, I'm sorry. Uh, resolution also differs on this one. So again, this one has a 395 PPI, so it's around around the same. But although I don't know why, I I, I think that the screen on this one looks a lot better than this one, uh, just depending on what you're doing, of course, uh, at night. Uh, but for me, I think this one looks more clear. Again, that's just my personal opinion as the making of this uh, video. But anyways, again, resolution on this uh, on the Moto G Stylus is 2460 by 1080. While the resolution on the um, the Samsung device right is 2400 by 1080, so both pretty much you know 1080p displays, right? But you know again, you're gonna get a little more bang for your buck on the Moto G Stylus uh, with the bigger screen, right? And uh, just so you guys know, let me try to center this out. I don't know why I keep moving the phones. This phone is on uh, the Samsung A23 5G is a 60 hertz refresh rate, while the Moto G Stylus is 120 hertz refresh rate. So if you're a gamer or someone that, you know, like tends to watch things that are motionally and graphically fast, you're going to get a better, uh, better looking screen on the Moto G Stylus, right? Now, physical features, I'm going to have to go with the Moto G Stylus and we'll go over the, the Samsung device. Obviously, you see a triple camera setup on the Moto G Stylus. First of all, the, the build quality of this device is, in my opinion, a lot better than the the Samsung Galaxy A23 5G. If you put them by, side by side, you can tell that the Moto G Stylus is a lot thicker, but even just feeling it in hand, yes, it's polycarbonate, it's not a glass back or anything like that, but the phone just feels a little more premium in the hand uh, than, than the Samsung A23. The Samsung A23 feels a little bit plasticky, 
uh, to the touch. It's a little bit of a fingerprint magnet as well. Not to say that the Moto G Stylus uh, 5G is not a fingerprint magnet as well. Um, you know, both devices I would probably recommend getting, you know, not an expensive case. I wouldn't spend more than 10 or $15 on a, a decent case. I would mostly get one for this one just so I can feel like the device is a little bit heavier and more premium. So that's just me. So again, I think that the the body and everything on the Moto Stylus 5G is a lot better. On the, on the right side, you see a volume rocker with the power button and the uh, fingerprint sensor. Same thing with the... Uh, the Samsung A23 here you see volume rocker, which I'm, I'm not a fan of the volume rocker being on top guys I don't know why phone companies decided to put volume rockers on the same side as the power button I always get them confused. I miss it and maybe this is just me, right? Um, that volume rocker should be on the left side up right here like kind of like an iPhone and then power button should be on the right Okay, so again, that's just my personal preference uh, both phones have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack as you can see here definitely uh, obviously both of them have usb type c as well thankfully right we're not going with that you know micro usb uh, you'd be surprised some devices actually still still have um, micro usb out there uh, lock screen wise uh, this is what both devices look like the samsung device just has the time right um Obviously, you guys can tell I'm an anime fan with the background screens here. Um, the Moto G Stylus has a bigger, bit, a little bit bigger of a clock, right? Because this one's running mostly stock Android, right? And if you guys are familiar with stock Android, like on Pixel devices or even the old Nexus devices, you'll know that that the stylus and any any t uh, Mo Motorola phone is going to mimic uh, that. I do miss that the fingerprint used to be right here on the back, right? But I, I can, I guess I can see why they kind of did away with that, right? And it's it's a little more accessible using the uh, using the power button, right? It's really not hard, and, and they're both they're both relatively fast. I really can't complain as far as like the unlock feature. I can tell you guys one thing though: this phone has an unlock feature that uses the face unlock. Let's see if that let's see if that works while I'm filming. No face detected. Let's let's see if I can move it up just a little bit, and let's see if it recognizes me doing this no face detected okay so i can tell you right now that i've tried using the face unlock feature on the samsung galaxy a23 and it's not very great it does work from time to time but it's not something that you're going to be like you know wow wowing over okay i can tell you that the face unlock feature on devices like the tcl 20 pro or even um you know other devices like the iphone or even the pixel are a lot cleaner a lot better so definitely both phones guys uh kind of give a little bit bang for their buck right retail retailing i believe the samsung a23 goes for two 299 and uh unlocked and uh, this phone goes for 250 uh as well so it just depends on the carrier guys so d don't quote me on any of this right you know you're gonna see different prices whether it be amazon or if you try getting it through a carrier you're gonna see different prices and and different things so so let's go ahead and get the phones unlocked here and again, I might put these phones on this little stand here. Let's go ahead and test out the stand really quick. Yeah, there we go. Hold on. Let's see. Let me see if I can unlock that one. So again, both phones. Let's see if I can do the, the white. There we go. Let's do a wide angle shot over here. All right. So now that we have the phones set up side by side again, uh, right now, the device uh, that on my, that's on my left-hand side, which is the A23, is running Android 13. I was actually gen uh, surprised that this device actually got an update on Android 13, uh, considering, let's see if I can zoom in just a little bit. There you go. Uh, so I'm surprised this one got an update on Android 13, considering it is a budget device. You don't see a lot of budget devices get a lot of ver uh, get a lot of uh, updates when it, or OTA updates when it comes to you know, uh, Android, especially, a, you know, a, a phone right now that's costing less than $100 on Boost Mobile, right? Uh, again, both phones came with Android 12 out of the box. I did get a security update on the Moto G Stylus 5G. So let's go ahead and see if we can check out the settings really quick. And then we'll go from there about phone. Let's see. Software information. Here we go. This one is running Android 12. And again, let's go over here and test this out and again if it's showing the phone number guys these are not my daily drivers so don't be a stalker or anything but it's whatever 
let's see system information no it, let's go to software information here we go so again we can get these zoomed in a little bit closer this one's running android 13 out of the box android 13 and then this one's running android 12 so i definitely did not really see much of a difference with the android uh 13 uh i guess update as far as that goes for the samsung galaxy a23 really didn't see too much as far as like you know if the phone is more fluid or not you know both devices have again four gigs of ram and are running the snapdragon uh 695 processor right so definitely not the fastest phones out there i can totally attest to that guys you're gonna get a little bit of lag and you're gonna get a little bit of stuttering uh, on both devices i'm not gonna lie i've experienced that both on these devices but you know when you don't have too much stuff running in the background they're relatively smooth and obviously you can tell that this one is going to have a little more you know i guess stuff going on with the uh with this with the screen because this one has 120 hertz versus this one which is only a 60 hertz display i don't really care though you know again i'm I, you know not, i'm not one to argue whether the phone is good just based on the refresh rate right you know definitely some phones have stronger points than other right uh, again, for instance, like the, the you know another key difference, right, is the the camera setup, right? Both uh, both phones have decent cameras. They're both three, but again, the the both uh, systems have 50 megapixel main cameras, guys. So so that's why I'm saying like you know these phones are very different, but they're also very uh, similar at the same time, right? Um, definitely, you know, want to go back there. So again, the main the main camera on the the Moto G stylus is 50 megapixel OIS, right? It's got an aperture of 1.9 with a focal length of 26 millimeters, pixel size 0.64 UM. It had, the secondary camera has an 8 megapixel ultra wide, right? Aperture f.2. Uh, again, third camera, 2 megapixel depth information camera, right? Uh, and again, um, Obviously, it can record in uh, 1080p. No 4K recording on either of these devices, guys, unfortunately. Uh, let's take a look at the... And, of course, for, sorry, before I forget, front-facing front camera on this device is in the middle. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. It's in the middle on this device, and there, it's in the middle. But this one is an 18-megapixel camera, uh, while the other one... Let's go ahead and go over the Samsung device really quick, guys, as well. Uh, again, the camera setup. Again, it is a 50-megapixel camera. Aperture is f1.8, right? 5 megapixel ultra wide on the secondary camera. Third camera is a 2, two megapixel ma uh, macro. And again, uh, fourth it says fourth camera, right? 2 megapixel depth sensor information. And then the front camera, I don't see. Okay, it does this have four cameras? Oh my gosh, okay. I could be. I didn't. Ever, this is kind of stupid. I never even realized that this has a four camera setup, guys. So this entire time, I thought that was like a, a sensor for like the flash or something like that. I never really noticed. And again, I have only had the phone for a week, so don't bash on me too hard, guys. Right? But yeah, four cameras. Okay. So again, fifty megapixel, five megapixel, two megapixel, and then another two megapixel. One's more for depth, right? Um, the other again it shoots in 1080p, right? Uh, as far as the recording goes, which I'm surprised with because with so many cameras on both phones, right? Three, three cameras here, four cameras here. You don't get 4K recording at all, guys. And I'm just kind of thinking to myself, like, wow, like you were able to get 4K recording uh, with devices, I believe, like the Pixel 3a, right? And even the Pixel 4a can record uh, in 4K, right? Uh, but it, for whatever reason, and again, I don't know why, I guess they just decided to keep 4K video off of both of these devices. You can record in HD at 60 frames per second, but that's pretty much it. This looks really cool in, with this kind of light, by the way. But again, anyways, guys, that front that front facing camera right there in the middle. I don't know if you guys can catch that or not right there. And that's the unlock feature trying to un do a face unlock. It's not going to work, though and um eight megapixels on that and you know i i've gone out and i've taken pictures on both devices and both of them seem to take pretty okay photos you know uh when trying to take pictures in portrait mode on the samsung a23 i did notice uh that uh why did this turn off i didn't press the power button i did notice that um that it seems to kind of uh not overshadow but like it's kind of uh blurring out everything in the picture rather than just you know focus on the um you know the the person that's in the shot or the object in, that's in the shop it kind of makes it a little bit blurry maybe that's just me and my experience but i haven't uh you know i haven't uh 
you know, gotten super death into the cameras yet, but you know, for the most part, they both take pretty good cameras and videos. Check out my other videos, that, or at least the ones that you've seen so far, and be the judge for yourself, right? You know, I've taken a few videos on both devices already and uploaded them to my YouTube channel. But anyways, guys, let's go ahead and again, let's let's do. Uh, I guess let's do a speed test really quick, right? This this is gonna be a long video. It's gonna be at least twenty minutes. So, uh, you know what, hold on, I'm connected to Wi-Fi. One second, guys, let me disconnect from the internet. And again, these are both running Boost Mobile, so let's see. I, just, I love the one tap feature over here on, on this device, so can't get enough of that, guys, by the way. Uh, I, I hate the way that Google, that Google never fixed this, uh, especially with all the complaints I'm sure that they're getting. Okay, done. Okay, so let's go back here. Let's go ahead and open up speed test again. And just so you guys can see here, I can lift both phones here really quick to the camera here. It says T-Mobile, T-Mobile. So even though they're Boost Mobile, and I know in some areas you're going to get AT&T's expanded network, right? In my area, for whatever reason, Boost is running on the T-Mobile network. So let's go ahead and try the speed test really quick, okay? See which one pings faster. They should both be around the same, guys. And I've never had issues as far as t-mobile in my area right that's one feature that i think that um that i love about t-mobile in my area is that yeah you always get good network speeds and considering look at that both of them 134 153 respectively on the moto g stylus haven't had too much issues there uh, again this one says 5g plus on top while the other one just says 5g and upload speed we're actually getting a better upload speed on the samsung uh, device rather than uh rather than this uh, other device but Let's take a look here. So uh, download speed is won by the Motorola G Stylus, but the upload speed is won by the Samsung device. And again, I know that both phones are using the network respectively ne right next to each other, and that could be affecting, you know, the speeds on both devices. But, you know, again, this is just for, you know, for fun, guys. This is for fun. So so I'm going to leave it like that, 154 and 136, 29 versus 9 upload, which neither are bad. I want to do what's called a, actually, you know what, let's go check Signal Check Pro really quick and see what's going on with the, um, with the bands here. And for those that like to look at, at that, let's see if I can get it to refresh. I don't know why I always lose, I always lose service on Signal Check Pro. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what tapping all these does anything. Let me kill the apps again. And this happened to me on my last video. That's okay though. Okay, and we'll probably try to geek bench it later on. There you go. Okay, that one worked on that one, but not this one. Okay, let's see. So again, you guys can see what band uh, this one's running off of, which is N41. And let's go ahead and take a look here. I'm trying to get the one on the Samsung device to pick up. I do not know why it's not. It just says mobile data idle. So I don't know what's going on with that. You know, maybe I should reset it or turn it on and off, turn off mobile data. Let me turn it off real quick and then turn it back on. Give it like five second roll. But I, I don't know. I just haven't had luck with getting it to work on this device. So we'll go ahead and leave it like that. So you're, I'm going to assume that the A A23 is also running on the N41 van as well, guys. But anyways, let's go ahead and do what's called a geek bench. And I have not done this to either phone guys, right? So let's go ahead and accept. So again, if you guys can read that and if it's legible, the Samsung is running off a six core processor. So is the, uh, the Motorola G stylus. Although you can see pretty much identical specs here, right? The RM uh, version eight, version eight, right? This is the Moto, Moto G Stylus 2022, right? And this is the Samsung SMA236U. Uh, so let's go ahead and run a CPU test on both of this. I'm gonna kind of just hit it and then I might cut this because this might take a while. But let's go ahead, I, I, I hit it around the same time, pretty much the same time, guys, come on. You guys already know. You guys already know. And I really prefer the cutouts on top of the Moto G stylus rather than the little teardrop on the Samsung A23. I don't know what, I don't know what phone companies are thinking that that looks good. It doesn't look good at all to me. I really kind of hate the way the A23 looks like, but so far running file comparison test looks like the, you know, this one won a little bit, but you know, I'm going to let this go through guys. And afterwards we'll see the numbers afterwards. 
All right, guys, so both of them just finished, and actually that took probably a lot longer than I wanted it to. It took about maybe five minutes for each phone, but legitimately uh, the Samsung A23 actually finished first before the Motorola uh, Stylus 5G. But as you can see here, very comparable scores. The Samsung A23 got an 875 for, and a an, uh, single-core score versus the 1968 multi-core score, right? Uh, for, and then again... Uh, 895 score on here versus the 2004 score on the multi-core score as well. So relatively, the you know again the Motorola G Stylus seems to you know be perf performing a little bit better as far as the numbers go. But obviously the numbers don't lie, right? It looks like the Samsung A23 won this benchmark. Let's go ahead and close it up here, and let's go ahead and just you know do little tests. Like let's see how long it takes to open up an app here. So. So I'm going to try to open up uh, PowerDirector on each phone, right? I had restarted both phones prior. Actually, you know what? Let's do, uh, let's do the, the Play Store on 3, 2, 1. Okay, that one didn't even hit. Let's try that again. Let's exit out there on 3, 2, 1. And again, we're both on the Boost Network here. We're not on Wi-Fi anymore. So it looks like the Moto G Stylus won that one. Let's go ahead and do... The gallery now which this one doesn't have a gallery it just has google photos so let's go ahead and maybe do google photos on both of them if it has it let's see it should have the google photos app let's find out here we go google photos on three two again it looks like the moto g stylus one but again this is the first time i opened this one so uh allow hold on i'm just allowing do not turn on backup okay so again these are just videos and pictures that were taken on both devices right again not a very fair score i guess because that's the first times that i opened up that one so let's go ahead and try that one more time again one more time let's try to open up the photos app again i killed both apps on three two so it looks like that one one let's go ahead and open up youtube now i have youtube in a folder over here on three two looks like the moto g stylus one on that one guys and again we're just comparing speed test here we're not you know or how how relatively fast another one is open okay let's open up the messenger app now on three two okay it looks like that one worked so moto g stylus one on that one let's try the the phone app now on three two about the same time so can't complain too hard um Let's see, let's go ahead and let's try YouTube again. Or did we already try YouTube? Yes, we already tried YouTube. Let's try Instagram now, right? On three, two. Okay, it looks like, and you can see the same picture is loading, guys. So it looks like the Moto G Stylus has won on most of these. Uh, let's do Twitter now. Twitter I have on both devices as well. You guys can follow me on both Instagram and Twitter. BTech underscore reviews on Instagram and BT underscore reviews on Twitter. I, I need to change to change it to where the handle is almost the same. So yeah, you know, even though considering, you know, that the Motorola G Stylus has the same processing chip as the A23, you can see a little bit of a difference as far as, you know, scrolling speed. You know, take it with a grain of salt, guys. You guys can see here, um, you know, what's going on. I'm not sure why, you know, this might be faster. Obviously, you can tell the scrolling speed is a lot smoother on the Moto G Stylus, right? There's my there's my dog right there, Elon. I'm trying to see if the, uh, Latrell made a post. There he is right there, Latrell. Talking about Taco Bell. Shout out to that. Shout out to my dog there if he watches this video that far. But yeah, let's try one more. Um, let's see, Gmail. I don't, really, I don't use a lot too much of the Google Suites, right? Um, but you know what? Let's try YouTube Studio. No, not Samsung Pay. I don't have Sam. I don't. I don't use Samsung Pay. I will never use Samsung Pay. I barely use GPA. GPA. If I can be 100% honest with you guys. Um, let me see. Do I? I should have YouTube Studio on both of these devices, or maybe not. I think I might only have it on this device. Let's go ahead and open up Facebook, right? I, and just so you guys know, you can follow me on Facebook. B Tech Reviews. Just look me up on three, two to one and i'm posting pretty much all the reels and everything that you see here uh that one was kind of a tie let's try that again let's try that again b tech reviews on three 
and on Facebook on three, two, one. Okay, that one it looks like the Moto G stylus one. So definitely, um, again, you know, not to, not to say that the A twenty three is slow, but you can tell that the, that the processing speed on the on the, on the Moto G stylus is handling it a little bit better. And I can't, t I you know, I can't tell you why. Obviously, Android stock stock Android is going to be a lot better than having a skin like One UI on on this, which I think this one has One UI five point guys, and this one has stock Android. But but regardless, you know what I mean, like. Again, like both of them have like the news feeds over here, and again, you can just tell like r that this one struggles. I feel like the Samsung A23 just struggles compared to the, you know, the Moto G stylus. And not and not to say, sh shout out to Boost Mobile, right? Not to say that the Boost Mobile one doesn't stutter either, right? Both of these only have four gigs of RAM, guys. So you kind of have to take that with a grain of salt. A lot of people in the comments on the unboxing video for the my Moto G style say that theirs has six gig of RAMs. I don't know if that's the 2021 version or if that if they got it from another carrier that maybe has six gigs of RAM. Mine does not. Mine has four gigs. And again, just so that we can, uh, you know, clarify that really quick, let's go to the specs on both devices really quick, just so you guys can see here. Let's see if I can find that on the on the uh, Galaxy as well. So again, this is the Moto G Stylus 5G, guys. Again, six cores, three. It's, it's it doesn't even have four gigs of RAM. It's 3.39 gigs of RAM, right? Um, again, three 396 display. So again, pretty much all the specs I read to you guys earlier. Again, let's go back over here to the device for the A23. And I can't, I keep bumping my tripod. I'm I have a new tripod, guys. I, I have, I'm filming on it with a ring light now, so. So hopefully it looks better to you. You guys are going to maybe complain about it. This is my first time though. So again, both devices only have a little under four gigs of RAM that are usable at least, right? So that's why I feel like this one's a little bit stuttery-ish. I felt like both of these devices could have had um, <clears throat> could have had at least six gigs of RAM. But I guess for the price range, you know, again, you're, they have to cut costs somewhere. Uh, definitely, I think both devices are are very you know, good devices to have in 2023, right? Considering, you know, if you want decent cameras, if you guys want, you know, decent fluidity as far as, you know, phone usability and, you know, just functionality in general, right? You know, a lot of people aren't going to complain. You know, if you, if you don't play a lot of games and all you do is just text and send pictures and, and you know, on occasion, you know, maybe film a little bit, uh, then these phones might be for you guys. And again, right now, Boost Mobile has them for 10 bucks a piece. So again, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end the video there, right? There's so many, like, you know, different comparisons that I can do. That just to kind of set it apart, though, and again, I, I didn't want to do the fingerprint test, but I guess let's do it before we finish off here. Both devices have a very good fingerprint. They're both very fast, okay? Like, I'm not, I'm, I'm, like you can see here that my, I'm barely tapping it. It picks it up really quick. Let's try the Samsung A23 now. Okay, there we go. That one took, took a little bit longer. I don't know why. Okay, there we go. There we go. And I'm just barely tapping it, guys. I'm not pressing it in. I'm just tapping the the fingerprint area. It, it knows when I'm tapping. Tapping away. I can use my other finger also. I set more than one finger. Or at least I think. Sometimes it's, sometimes it's hard to feel where the fingerprint sensor is at because it's like kind of like it's capacitive. It's kind of inside. It's not really, it doesn't really poke out a lot like a normal power button would. So you kind of have to like find it, which I'm not a fan of, but I guess the only thing that you might be able to remedy that with is by getting a case. I can definitely feel it a lot more sticking out on, on the Moto G stylus. I don't know if you guys can kind of tell or not, but like there, you can tell it sticks out just a little bit more opposed to the Samsung A23, which obviously you really can't tell. This one is more flush with the with this well at least it picked it up right with the side panels and again guys the one feature that you you don't have with you know other devices that you get on moto are the moto mods right so like again you can snap it to turn on the on the light turn it off if i can if i can figure that out you, all you have to do is twist it to turn the camera app on right although that takes kind of a few seconds for it to actually load right and there's probably a few more that i i haven't gone over yet but these are old school moto options that you could have with that so with that guys i'm going to say that the moto g stylus if i had to choose between both devices that the moto g stylus is the winner of this competition and again guys i know this video is probably like 30 minutes long but anyways guys i'm going to go ahead and end the video there 
I know this was a messy video. It's been a minute. I still haven't really did a versus video in a while. So again, guys, shout out to Tito. Shout out to Latrell. Shout out to CV Tech. Shout out to all my dogs out there. Tech for your needs. Uh, Tobin. Shout out to everybody. Basically, that you know supports the channel. And again, guys, thank you for watching. Again, this is the Samsung Galaxy A23 versus the Moto G Stylus. And again, the Moto G wins this one. If I were to spend money on a device, it would be this one again. Guys, thanks again for watching. Smash the like button. We'll see you all next time.